Saying that final goodbye to a loved one is difficult. Tonight, two dozen families from all around the country are in Sarasota to memorialize lost family members. 10 News reporter Isabel Mascarena shows you how they're making lasting memories in a really unique way. Eternal reef balls of cement used to preserve marine life give life to the memory of loved ones who've passed. We love the south and the water, so this is our way to say goodbye, sweetheart. We love you until we meet again. Sandra Velter and 10 family members traveled from Hershey, Pennsylvania to Sarasota with her husband John's ashes. It's a great father, grandfather, uncle, and a wonderful husband. More water. The 92-year-old World War II veteran died in April. The couple had lived in Pinellas for 26 years while retired. Stirring the ashes. Tell me, did you get, did you get in there? Uh, odd, a very emotional feeling. Very emotional. The mixture is poured on top of an eternal reef ball for the family to personalize. They left handprints. The youngest left her mark, too. There's the wrapper to John's favorite candy, a plaque with his name, and a special photo of the couple. And John and I were avid dancers. We never took lessons, but we were good together. 47 years spent together, Sandra said in the end, all he asked was to be cremated. The rest was up to her. What do you think he's saying right now? You go, girl. <laughs> and thank you. And I love you all. That's what he's saying. In Sarasota, Isabel Mascareñas, 10 News.